All right, Shalom, Shalom. I'm still saying Brakata Yahweh, Brakata Yahweh Shai, Brakata Yahweh, Brakata Yahweh Shai, Brakata Yahweh, Brakata Yahweh Shai. I say, Call Allah Yom Wahwa La Yahweh Bahashem Yahweh Shai, Bahashem Rakar Kadash. Double honors to the apostles and elders, great minister, and peace and mercy be unto the Lord's light out there is teaching the word truth and sincerity. I am Brother Amar, come back at you with another video. And now, uh, real quick, man, this video is just going to be titled, um, uh, the two greatest commandments, probably, probably titled that, but um, I'm just get it, get right into it, man. This is Matthew chapter twenty uh, two, verse um. I uh, started at uh, 34. I said, but when the Pharisees had heard that he had put the Sadducees to silence, they were gathered together. All right. It says, then one of them, which was a lawyer, asked him a question, tempting, tempting him and saying, Master, which is the great commandment in the law? All right. And it says, uh, verse 37, Yahweh Shai said unto him, thou shalt love the Lord thy God with all thy heart and with all thy soul. And with all thy mind, I says, um, uh, this is the first and great commandment, man. All right, so he was telling this uh, this lawyer, I right, was a Pharisee. All right, he was telling them because uh, he tempted, he was asking him a question. The scripture said he was tempting them. That lawyer was tempting Yahweh Shai, but he was asking, what was the, what's the greatest commandment? <sighs> Excuse me. And uh, Yahweh Shai hit him with that. Which is to love the Lord thy God with all thy heart, man, and with all thy soul, and all thy mind. All right, and that's what our our people, man, they they just failed to do, man. They failed to uh, fulfill that scripture and plenty of other scriptures, man. All right, because if our people truly love the Lord like they say they do, they would do the things uh, pertaining in the scriptures, man. Because it's clear as day what the Lord wants us to do and what He don't want us to do. All right, there's a way of living that our people just uh, do not want to follow. All right, rebellious. Uh, scripture talk about our people. Uh, this is a rebellious um, uh, people, man. All right, let me see. Uh, let's lock it real quick. I'm trying to go back. All right, let me go back to this. Uh, uh, this is verse uh, 30, 38. This is the first and great commandment, and the second is like unto it. Thou shalt love the thou shalt love thy neighbor as thyself, man. On these two commandments hang all the law and prophets, man. Yeah, so he said the second is like unto it, man, because the second one is is almost just as just as important, man. And the reason being because uh, the Lord's people were looked at as like pieces of the most high. Alright, in, in in a sense. Alright, because we come we we're directed directly connected to the heavenly father um you know uh, um himself man all right you know like it like the yahweh shah man he when he made when yahweh shah and allah made uh you know the people on the planet and stuff like that or whatever they um they they they, they designed you know uh jake uh, the israelite man and woman to be very very different from the other uh nations all right and like I said, we're, it was almost like we're we're connected to the the Most High Himself, in, in a sense, man. All right, that's why the Lord comes uh, to our nation and, and um, like certain dreams and visions, and you know He deals with us um, in a, uh, in a, on a subconscious level and spiritual level, uh, not uh, un unlike any other nation, man. All right, because we're we're connected to Him directly. All right, uh, let me see. Uh, Let me see, Salakia. Like going, uh, going back, he then says, verse forty said, on these, on these two commandments hang all the law and the prophets. Now it says, verse forty, uh, verse forty. Um, let me see. Uh, no, 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 that was it on that. And let me now go. Let me go to Romans. They yeah, said, on these two hang uh, all the law and the prophets, man, because, like I said, those those two laws are very, very important, man. And this is if Jake apply those two. Then the rest of the commandments naturally will just fall in line, and this uh, this is a precept, another precept, Romans chapter thirteen verse uh verse verse eight. It says, "O no man anything, but to love one another, for he that loveth another 
have fulfilled the law. You see that? It's, it says, if you love one another, you have fulfilled the law. All right, which, like I said, if you if you do the main two, which is love the Lord thy God with all that power, with all that soul and mind, and if you, and then the second is like unto it, which is uh, love thy neighbor as thyself. If you do those two things, then like I said, naturally the rest of the commandments will fall in line. All right, this is verse nine. For the, for this thou shalt not commit adultery. Thou shalt not thou shalt not kill, thou shalt not steal, thou shalt not bear false witness, thou shalt not covet, and if there be any other commandment, it is briefly command comprehended in the same. Namely that namely thou shalt love thy neighbor as thyself. Same thing Yahweh Shah was saying. Alright. It says, uh love was love working no ill to his neighbor, therefore love is the fulfilling of the law, man. All right, so like I said, if you love the Lord, man, like how people swear up and down they do, then just just try to follow these two commandments if you can, man. All right, because Jake will find out it's harder than they think. All right, it ain't just going to church and clapping your hands and you know talking crap, man. All right, it's it's it's, 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 it's trying to fulfill the law as best as you can in this world, man. It's, um, it can be vexing because you know Satan, Satan constantly fucks with us in his flesh, and uh, we have a lot of wickedness around us. Like I said, sometimes it, it influence you, sometimes to wander from the path of the, of, of of the Lord, man. All right, but that's why, man. You know, the, the Most High got us in the Spirit to where you know, um, for the most part, for the most part, we're walking in the Spirit. All right, let me see. so uh, let me see. Uh, here we go. I wanted I want this one. This one I was looking for, and uh, this is probably ended on this Deuteronomy chapter six, verse. Um, Verse four. It says, uh, "Hero Israel, the Lord our God is one." It said, "The Lord our God is one God," and uh, all the brothers should notice. Um, should notice um, prayer. All right, so it, it will be like Shema, Yasha Allah, Yahweh, Allah Yahweh, Yahweh Chad. All right, and uh, it says, uh, verse five. It says. Um, it says, and thou shalt love the Lord thy God with all thy heart, and with all thy soul, and with all thy might. All right, so th th that's what, like I said, that's that's a that's a commandment, man. All right, that's a commandment. And then it reads further on, say, and these words which I command thee this day, thou shalt, it says, shall be in thy heart, man. All right, and, and so this these these words, man, they're supposed to be inside of you, man. They're supposed to dwell within your your spirit, man, your soul. All right, and your your conscience, man. All right, to keep these as best you can. All right, to fulfill what the Lord wants us to do, man, which is ultimately follow His will, man. All right, you know. So I, I just wanted, to, you know, as I said, make this, make that, um, hit that quick point, man, about how you know th those the two, the, the very, very most two important uh, um, laws, which all the laws are important, but I said those two, like the Lord just said, man, right, hang, um hang uh hang the laws and the prophets man all right so with that man i'll give all praise and glory to yahweh by hashem yahweh shai by hashem rakar kadash double honor to our apostle as we must on peace and mercy been to the lord's elect out there teaching truth and sincerity shalom and baba ball